Arnold's head. <laughs> and him, babe. Me. And his, his back is God, to me. You scared my son of me. Um, what's live? up? Yeah, I'm live. What's up? Team what's up, Moses? team? What's up? What up, team? Babe. Babe, don't do that. Don't play okay, me. Okay, okay, okay. Don't play me. You guys, we are driving through the countryside. Don't ever play me. Prophetess is feeling better. Uh, I know y'all probably watching these vlogs uh, live. Um, not live, but um, who knows, the vlogs from earlier. Yeah, give us a shout out. Let us know who's watching. Amen. Let us know who's watching us today. Come on in. We're driving through the countryside. And we want to have fun today. We want to have fun, y'all. We want to make it... Um, you know, juicy, a conversation, you know? Yeah. Make it spicy. Yeah, make it spicy. Let's talk about relationships. Amen. So what's on your heart? Good morning, Shalom Mac. Good morning. So what's on your guys' hearts today? Food. I know, food, breakfast. Oh, I got to get up and start my day early. Amen. So we're going to talk about relationships and hopefully the signal's okay. Amen. I had to... You know, put on my favorite, like my cough drop in. Yeah. So we're we're uh, doing our driving as usual. Amen. So, you know, a lot of people are asking me, uh, how do I know, you know, if he is the one or if she is the one? You know, I'm gonna say this. Uh, God won't give you someone else's spouse. Amen. He won't give you someone else's husband. And I'm just gonna put it out there like that. All right. Um, you know, so we're gonna have fun. Just anything you want to know, any Q and A's about relationship, let us know. And one thing, babe, I always talk about is, you know, make sure you want to be married before you get married. All right, because I know sometimes when you get married to someone, uh, you literally gotta die to self. So the scripture when it says, you know, the the husband should lead the father and mother, you know, and join it to the wife cleave unto the wife and the two should become one flesh all right and it's true and you know what and too i want to since she said that about the uh the husband the man leaving the father and mother too i want i want to add on that too and this, i know this going to be a little controversial for some how many people we got we got five so far Watch i know this going to be a little controversial for some but i believe when a man and a woman get married that the woman should take her husband's last name and not have her still have her father's name in there like Michelle Michelle Jones Mitchell now I think you should leave your father's house and take your, your, your husband's last name there should be no two last names you're not a part of that other house now he took you from that house the same way God took Abram from his father's house and changed his name that's all, that's all I want to say. I know that's going to be controversial for most. And that's not a rock thrown at nobody. That's not personal. I'm not aiming at no aiming at, at nobody. I'm just saying, like, I, I knew I would never have a wife and she have two last names. Amen. Amen. I knew I would never have a wife and she have two last names. She couldn't have been Kimberly Hargraves Moses. No, Kimberly Moses. You leave your father's house. You leave that other name behind. Anyway, that's what I want to say. <laughs> yes. Sir. I didn't mean to get all. I didn't mean to get all serious and take it somewhere else. But since she mentioned that scripture, I just, I just wanted to throw that in there. But I love y'all. What's up, team? Yeah, what's up, team? So that's important because, like, for me as a woman, as a wife, it was a level of submission for me. You know, then submission, you know, could be kind of hard. That's you right. Know, for uh, most women, you know. Um, but it has, it has to do it. So in order to make my husband feel like I respect him, that I appreciate him, that I love him the way the, the word of God tells me to love him, I said, okay, I'm going to take Hargraves off my name, even though it's a sacrifice, even though I have products, you know, it's part of my brand, you know, it's my, my, my website and all, everything says Hargraves on it. So, you know what I, what I'm doing? I'm in the process now of rebranding. We are. And, yeah, we were we were branding. So, Prophetess is getting a new logo. Prophetess is getting a new website. Prophetess is relaunching, rebranding like most of her products. So, my next book that that comes out, you guys, is going to have Moses on it. Okay, but you still, you know, um, it's still.
going to be linked to me because it has all of my books uh, previous listed in like the back of the books or whatever like that. I'm going to link everything together on like these platforms like Barnes & Noble, Amazon and stuff like that. So, goodreads.com. But what I said all that to say is, you know, good morning, Catherine. Good morning. You know, it's a level of submission. And a lot That's of right. a lot of women, you know, they have this struggle on submission. You know, like maybe you are independent. I trust me, you guys. I, I'm so independent. You know, I, I, I was single for a long time. I had that mindset. How you doing? Uh, uh, I'm about to call you prophetess Jennifer Jones. How you doing, Pastor? How you doing, sis? Yes. Uh, we love you. We appreciate you. Yeah. So I was so independent. I had the mindset of, you know, uh, how you doing, Aunt Faye? Aunt Faye. Yes. You know, just being a single mom with these kids, you know, so when God sent the man in my life, I got, I had to kind of step back into my woman role, you know, because I was the mama and the father at one time in my children's life. So, uh, you know, it takes a level of submission no. to be able to do that. No. No. Is it, babe? No, I don't I agree with that. You can't play two roles. You can only, you can only play your role. A woman can't be a father. A man can't be a mother. That's that's all I wanted to say. You can only play your role. Yes. So uh, let's let's talk about um, starting over. You know, I, I don't believe in a rebounding. You know, a lot of people um, like when you're waiting, you want um, you know to get back out there again. I, I personally believe, and this is what I did. I had to give my heart time to heal. I never wanted to take junk from my old relationship and put it into my new relationship. So I don't I don't know about you guys. I know the signal says it's bad or whatever like that. I don't do y'all believe in rebounding? And my definition is rebounding is <laughs> they're not gonna say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my definition of rebounding is, is just sex. Like, I'm come on. Gonna... Like that's what the world does. And Saints shouldn't be doing that, y'all. That's that's just my my opinion. Amen. <laughs> Y'all quiet today. I don't know if it's because of my connection or but y'all gotta y'all gotta talk to us. Amen. So anyways, before you hop into another relationship, heal. Go sit down somewhere. Uh go get in God's presence. Allow God to heal you. Amen. Yeah, you, you can't give somebody your all until you're healed. Yes. Don't so go into another relationship with walls. Tell me something I'm scared to give them my all because you've been hurt before. That ain't fair to the new person. You know? Yeah, Pastor Jennifer said, I agree. Rebound is an invitation for the yeses. The disaster, yep. That That is so true. Yes, and another thing about relationships. Come on, come on, come on. Come you know, on. I could keep going on and on and on and on about oh. this. All right, we want to talk about trust. You know, you don't want to be in a relationship where you, you don't have, um, we don't trust your, your person. Let me see. Oh, I see, I see. I okay. Yeah, um, we had to constantly check behind them, look in their phone, and crazy stuff like that. You know, who, who wants that? That's stressful. Amen. So, you know, it should be a level of trust for a healthy relationship. That's that's one thing I thank God for. Uh, my, you know, my babe, he uh, gives me access to everything. So whatever doubt of insecurity I, it, I, don't care. I had before, it's, it's gone. You know, I, I he linked our Instagram together. Facebook stays open. You know, I got all his codes. I, I, I leave the house and leave my computer on. She can go in anything. Yeah. Got access to everything. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, text messages, whatever. Because I ain't got nothing to hide. Yes. And that, that, makes, me, that makes me feel secure. I, I was in a relationship before. It was so many secrets. Passcodes on everything. I didn't have now, access to nothing. But now I do have I do have a lock on my phone though, and I'm gonna tell you why I got a lock on my phone. Just in case I lose it and somebody find it, I don't want to make it easy on them. That's why I got a lock on my phone. But my fingerprint and her fingerprint is on my phone, so she could still get in it. But just in case somebody pick up my phone, I don't want to make it easy on them. That's why there's a lock on it. Yes. Yeah, and, and there must be a, a level of some accountability to God. Amen. You know, um, 
I'm thankful that he has a uh, relationship with God and I have my relationship with God because you know sometimes you're not always in the spirit I'm gonna be honest and you might wake up with an attitude and I always tell him I said I got an attitude when I don't spend too much time in prayer you know so um, if, if I get out of hand or if I get an attitude the Holy Spirit inside of me will convict me and same thing with him and you know God will deal with one another and we come back and we get it right so, you know, just having accountability to God is is important as well. So, what's on your heart and mind, people of God? You know, I feel like I'm just doing all the talking. You know, <laughs> you know, I can talk y'all. I, so, so I, I see what our face says. I didn't get a chance yeah, to Yeah, she read said it. trust and honesty is a must. Oh, amen. Yes, trust and honesty is a must. Yes, I, I, I don't want to date no liar, compulsive liar. You know, lie about your name, lie about... You ate. That's this is horrible. Like, you know, what's that? So yeah. Well, you ain't got work about that. You taking me fast. And yeah, we we date forever. Day. Yeah. You guys, I can't wait for y'all to see like the the upcoming stuff. We, we did some nice things dating wise, and I pray you you guys ideas to uh, you know for your own marriage, your own relationship, or your future marriages. Courtship. Future courtships, just to how to date. You know, gotta be creative sometimes, you know, make it fun. So yeah, we, we date a lot, it's, it keeps it fun, you know. Spicy. Yeah, it's, it's spicy. We, we still gotta work on this book though, we still gotta work on this cookbook. We gotta, yeah, we gotta get to work. Two cookbooks. Two cookbooks, yeah. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited you guys. I'm going to step out on faith and... Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm going in circles. Are you? No, it's right here. Yeah, because it'll say... Makaira's right here. No, I see, I see where the turn at. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to step out on faith and do a children's book, so I'm really excited. You know? Just, I just want to try different things. You know, stretch sh stretch to the limit. To see where God... Uh, he bursts the creativity at. But, anywho... But, anywho... Yeah. This book right here, my book... Uh... We had a, um, what you call that, babe? A giveaway? We had a giveaway. And Bobby, what is Bobby's last name? Bobby C. Ford, she won the book. Ooh. And we about to take Bobby the book to her job. Yeah. An hour away. Yeah. If y'all live closer, y'all can meet and greet us, too. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> all, I had to, uh, all I had to know was, um, babe asked the question, what is what is my favorite meal? And Bobby was a bunch of people responded, but Bobby was the first one that responded. Spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Yeah. I could eat spaghetti. Well, not every day. I don't want it every day no more. I used to eat it about three times a week. All right, we should be closer. Where the people at? Where the people? Yeah, same connection. You got a signal? Said so, yeah, it's still recording. The same connection very bad, but hey, yeah, they're probably commenting. I can't see it on my end. I guess we see it when we play it. Yeah. So you guys, we are. Wait, hold on. Oh snap! I passed, you passed it. it. Yeah. Control don't look familiar to you. <laughs> you ain't say nothing. It's, it's a big old uh, thing on the side. All right, guys, we about to um, go run some errands. You know, I just want to just check in with you guys. So. Yeah, if you have any questions, any comments about relationships, go ahead and put it in the comment section and we'll answer it to the best of our ability. We love you guys.